Okay, so I'm back for part two of You Are Gifted. So just a quick reminder, you are gifted. God has entrusted you with skills, abilities, gifts, people in your life, and he intends for you to use these resources to bring great benefit to other people. However, your giftedness is not the source of your identity. You don't find your identity in your skills and talents, wins, losses, successes, failures, what kind of house you live in, what kind of car you drive, how large of a net worth you have, or what kind of grades you get. Your identity is derived from your relationship with God and what God says about you. Father says that you are his son. You're his child and you belong to him. He has brought you into his household and made you a member of his family. This is so powerful. Why? Because it should set you free from fear. Fear of mistakes or fear of making mistakes. Fear of failure. Fear of being left alone because now you realize you are his child. And God is a good, good father. And he promises to never leave you nor forsake you. So good news. Your identity is not defined by your circumstances or how much money you have or how much money you don't have or whether you win this match or whether you win this game or lose. Your identity is found in your relationship with God. So I want to encourage you today to be free because perfect love has set you free from fear. You are his child. Use your gifts and talents to bless other people, but do it with the motivation of my identity is first and foremost found in my relationship with a living and loving God who deeply cares for me. You are loved. You are blessed. You have a great day, child of God, and I'll talk to you soon.